Hi, this is the Teaser King. I'm Kevin you with the game of the week for week two, college football 2010. Uh, I'd like to talk about the Michigan Notre Dame game. Uh, I think the best way to analyze this is to look at Brian Kelly and his Cincinnati trends and look how he did against West Virginia when Rich Rodriguez was there. In his Cincinnati trends, he was five, uh, he was seven and two as a home favorite since 2008. Also seven and two, you played against him as a home favorite. It means if you teased against them. So there's really he's not a dominant home favorite coach. He's a very strong dog, but he's not a home favorite. He wins, but he doesn't blow out. Last year he was only three and two with, but four and one against. So if you teased against them in the five home games, you won four out of five. Conversely, when he played against Chris Rodriguez at West Virginia, he lost both games. So he had trouble with that spread offense. Uh, last year, his defense was not his strong point. His, his, his strong point is he's a good offensive coach, good with quarterbacks. Uh, Dan Lefevre, he's made into a great quarterback. Also, um, Tony Pike, he made into a, a pro quarterback, so he's very good at that. But defensively, he's not is not his strength. Um, I look at Michigan with Denard Robinson looking like Pat White in the West Virginia offenses. And he had a hard time stopping those. Um, also last year, he had a hard time with Pittsburgh in the championship game. Um, Pitt scored over 40 points in that one, and West Virginia and Cincinnati had to pull it out at the end. Also against Florida, he wasn't there, but still it was his defense. Gave up like 600 yards approximately to Florida, and they routed him. Uh, I know it was Team Bo's last game, but still the defense, you know, come on, he lets up over 600 yards. I look at uh, this as Michigan being like a West Virginia type of team, and Notre Dame will have trouble stopping them. I don't think defense, uh, they haven't shown me that strong of a defense. I believe Connecticut's defense uh, Connecticut's a very good team, and I believe their defense is as strong as Notre Dame's. Um, just my opinion. And Connecticut had a hard time with with Michigan last week. Uh, the spread in this game is Notre Dame laying four. I like Michigan plus ten a lot. I don't think they'll get blown out. I think they'll be able to move the ball with this new offense. Denard Robinson looked very good last week. Watched the game. He was. Um, very good running the ball, but equally as well throwing the ball. He found the receivers open. He passed them like he looked like he was a, a normal quarterback now. Last year he had trouble. He didn't really know the system, didn't have the reads down. And you kind of knew when he had the ball, he was going to run the ball. So the defense is keyed on it. Now some of the plays against Connecticut. Good luck being a defensive coordinator against Michigan this year because they're going to move on. Everybody, including Ohio State. Uh, I look for... Michigan to be able to put up over 30 points in this game, and if you're getting 10, I don't see Notre Dame getting 40. Uh, Chris, the new quarterback, looks okay. He doesn't look, you know, he's no Joe Montana. Uh, they'll move the ball on Michigan. Michigan's weakness is their secondary. They have a lot of injuries at the safety position. So a good passing team will be able to pick them apart, but offensively it's going to be very tough to stop Michigan uh, running this uh, West Virginia attack now with a Pat White style quarterback in it. Um, this series has been an underdog series. The last six have been upsets and I look for the same here. I, I have a hard time understanding Notre Dame laying forward in this game. Um, hard to make them a home dog, I understand, but uh, the way Michigan looked, uh, you know, I, I find it hard to believe they're they're going to get blown out by you know an average Notre Dame team. Yeah, I like Brian Kelly, great coach, but you know he can only do so much with the talent there, and I'm sure he'll make Crisp a very good quarterback. But I just don't see this game Notre Dame just blowing them out. Uh, Notre Dame lost to them last year, which was unbelievable, as bad as Michigan was, but that just shows you how bad Notre Dame was last year. Uh, I think Notre Dame will be a very good team under Brian Kelly. He's a great coach and I think Notre Dame will have a pretty good year and, and 
be very competitive in the game. I think that uh, I don't, you know, they could win this game. I'm not saying they won't. But again, I like the 10 points in Michigan here. Uh, please go and uh, look at my trends and history and everything else on my site. It's now has a chat if you want to chat with me and ask me questions about any game. Be happy to give you my opinion. Uh, again, it's www.teaserking.com. Have a great day. Good luck to you over this weekend. I hope you make some money. I hope I help you make some money. I have free picks on the site and uh, be happy to answer any questions or comments. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.